The Vibe. Turn it up. It's all about the music. Keep listening to it because it gets you in that vibe. Hanging out with artists from all around the world. Hi, this is Arla Arsene. Hey, it's Guy Sebastian. Yo, what's going on? It's Youngblood. I'm doing something I did not think I'd be doing today. I'm having, having a beer with Youngblood. This is The Vibe with Sean Brown. That's right, episode 13. Thank you so much for joining us. My name's Sean Brown, and my guest today is a multiple ARI Award winning and multi-platinum Australian singer-songwriter. She's had nine number one singles, four number one albums, three world music awards, over nine million in album sales and not to mention she was my coach on The Voice back in 2017 so she's very special to me. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the incredibly talented Delta Goodrum. Hey Delta. Hey there Sean, how are you? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Long time no speak. Absolutely. <laughs> how things have you, darling? Oh, good, really good. I've um just I'm doing radio now, obviously. Uh been I been all right. I mean I see it online, which I'm very proud of. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I just uh living my best life really. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, busy year for you. I mean, despite the circumstances of COVID, I feel like you've really made the most of the situation with three singles. First, Let It Rain, Paralyze, Solid Gold, along with the voice and the many other things that you, you, you've been doing and now you're back with a Christmas album. It's just crazy. I know. It's been, it's been for such a unique year, it's been um, such a busy year, which I'm very, very grateful for. Oh, yeah. How, how long have you been working on this album for? I imagine something like this would have taken a bit of time to put together. Well, normally it does, but um, I, I sort of, I kind of made it, brought it together in a very fast amount of time considering that bringing in the kids' choirs and the gospel choirs <laughs> and the string players and but um, it was, it, it was it moved along fast. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I can't even remember, I think it was September or that I started it. But wow. I pulled it together pretty fast, but I'm, I'm, I love the record. Oh, it's so good. It must feel weird singing Christmas songs so early in the year. I mean, you know what? I kind of welcomed it. I thought I got the Christmas decorations out really early, but technically <laughs> I've been in Christmas for about four months. Oh, that's about, you've got to make the most of it. Hey, I feel like the tree's not up for long enough. Exactly. Yeah. Like we want to. It's time, especially this year. I think everyone's looking forward to seeing their families and getting in the festive spirit. Exactly. Now you have two original Christmas songs on the album. Uh, one of them we love. Only Santa knows. We love both of them, but only Santa knows is only great. Santa knows when you're How did you get yourself in the headspace to write something like this? Uh, well, actually, I was talking about how much. I like my Christmas journey and how it was the foundation to my belief in like anything was possible. And we were, um, it was, it was actually in the middle of the year. I think it was around the time I'd released Paralyzed. And I kept singing this song going, only Santa knows, only Santa knows. And then everybody in my team kept singing, only Santa knows. Like, <laughs> and then it just sort of, it kind of rolled onto this song and me sharing my story about writing letters to Santa and, and then um, cause I wrote my version of what I my Christmas was. I saw something earlier. You posted something. Uh, you, you, you made a wish to Santa when you were a kid and that wish came true. And that was your Christmas special, which we saw on Saturday night. Um, firstly, congratulations on that. That was incredible. Thank you so much. Like, it, was, it really was a dream come true. The Kylie Minogue performance. When you wish upon a star Makes no That was yeah. just insane. I mean, two Australian icons. Uh, was that special mm-hmm. for you? Oh my god, it was a. It really was. I mean, singing with Kylie Minogue was was awesome. That the idea of when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. Like I, I just loved it. It was a perfect song for us to sing together. Yeah. Oh, it was be- beautiful performance. Um, speaking of beautiful performances, I have to say my favourite track on the album would be Silent Night with Gurumul. Uh, listening to that just gave me shivers. I, I was like, oh, thank you so I, much. just goosebumps. Silent night, holy night, son of God. As we know, uh, Guru will pass away a few years ago. May he rest in peace. But talk me through the yeah. process of how this happened. Um, well, Guru and I had uh, done a performance together at Bayini on The Voice in 2012. 12, I think, or 13. Wow. Yep. And, um, was it 14? No, yeah, 2013, I think. And, um, we just really connected. He had such a beautiful voice. Mm. And we then did some performances at the Opera House. And then, as fate would have it, 
uh, we had done a recording of Silent Night, and now is the perfect time to keep his beautiful flame going in this music. Yes. Oh, it's such a nice song. It's it's such a great rendition of Silent Night. It's really beautiful. So you should be so proud of that. Um, Thank you so much. I do want to chat about your production company. Uh, is it Altered Productions? Is that how you say it? <laughs> At Lead. At Lead. Why do I think it was Altered? Altered is a, ver- a different version of At Lead. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. Um, I think I've just done a typo on my questions. Alt at lead <laughs> at lead productions. Tell me about this. What can we expect from at lead productions? Well, we can expect some incredibly wonderful produced shows. Obviously, the Christmas special was the very first one. Yes. I'm um, just yeah. It's it'll be airing again, which is amazing. Awesome. Um, but uh, you know, I've got a lot. Lot in the pipeline, just very creative time. Yep. So you'll see them in 2021. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, uh, what I'm hoping for in 2021 is a new album. I mean, it's been four years since Wings of the Wild. <laughs> uh, you're someone who is constantly around. You're on our TVs. You're launching perfumes. Uh, back in 2018, you dropped Think About You. I'm just going to say it and I don't know how you take it. This is, it. this is it. This is the new era. I loved that song so much. It was such a banger. Aww, and then and, oh, It was such a banger. And then it didn't lead to an album. Was that always going to be a standalone release? Um, not, I mean, it, obviously my journey took a different course yep. at the end of 2018. Um, so, but at the same time, that one was, I love that. I had such fun on that track. And oh, it's great. I'll definitely sing it at the tour. And yeah, yes. it, was, it was awesome fun. And then two years later, you're back with a sound I've never heard you do before. I love it so much. <laughs> um, talk me through Thank the journey you. of coming to the conclusion that this is where you're going to take your music next. Because I'm getting like, when That's I listen to... a great to, question. <laughs> when I'm listening to Solid Gold, I'm getting like yeah. modern day ABBA vibes. You know, it, it really came from the fact that it all just went back to the piano. Yep. I I was very conscious of, I just wanted to tell stories through my instrument and just sit there and every song had to start with the bass of the piano rather than it coming from another source, like a, another instrument. I needed it to feel grounded in its, in its piano. Yeah. But, you know, but what, what it did was every instrument was played live. We got all the best musicians, like, in the world, which I'm so grateful for. Yeah. Um, and I just produced it with... Like, you know, John Mayer's band as well. And, you know, obviously everybody's just, yeah, just really, really, the record's very organic, very real. It really tells very clear stories on my own life. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I'm ready to ready for that to come out that, at the start of next that's, year. That's what I think. That's I think that's what I, I love most about these new records is because you, they are so real. The instrument, as you were saying, you know, it's all real instruments, and that's what you do best. You you make music that we can relate to. That uh, you've, you've had so been through so much in your life, and you've just you just take this on this journey. You let us in, and we listen to them. And I, I know for me, some of your songs I I relate to so much. So thank you for oh, all the amazing God. music, and I can't wait for this new album. Are we so we're expecting it in 2021? Yes. For sure. Cool. Awesome. Can't It'll be wait. early 2021. Yes. <laughs> it's what we need, a new Delta Goodrin Yay! album. <laughs> and, and you're going on tour with the Bridge Over Troubled Dreams tour. Uh, what can you yeah. tell me about the tour? What can we expect? Well, it's going to be, of course, all the songs that everybody's known throughout the years and everyone, everyone will be able to be singing back to those and then I'll sprinkle in the new stories. But it's always got an arc, you know. Yep. Our, my shows always have a... I've always got the heart and the fun, but you've got to have the right amount of dance and fun that yep. meets, you know, sort of um, everybody just coming together with a whole heap of love and good vibes. I caught the last one, uh, the DVD, or the, the was it DVD, <laughs> is that what we're calling it? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was incredible. Well, Delta, look, you know, if if you do need a rapper on Enough, I've got it down pat. Uh, it's That's a banger of a song too, and uh, anytime you need I know someone, where to find you, you and I know how insanely talented you are, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Well, uh, Delta's new album, Only Santa Knows, is out on all streaming services right now. It's even on vinyl, which is sick. Uh, Delta, thank you so much for coming on. It means the world. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. The Vibe. Turn it up.